Welcome. This will be a 30 minute more or less um, movement and meditation class um, suitable for those of you who practice um, from a chair. So wherever there's a chair, <laughs> this is a practice for you. Um, so in July we started reading from um, snippets from a book called Drinking from the River of Light. Uh, by Mark Nepo, so I will continue that. Just take a moment to find your seat. And maybe before we read, let's begin by rubbing your palms together. And then bowing forward as low as you can and rub over your feet, your legs, catching your ankles and your knees, the back and the front and over the thighs. So we're sensitizing the skin, maybe building a little bit of heat. And then rubbing over your arms, your shoulders, both arms, the shoulders, the neck, the throat, the chest, the belly, the hips, the lower back, as high up on your back as you can get. And then maybe a little raindrop tapping over the face and the head. And catching your ears, just rubbing your ears. And shaking your hands out. And then finding a comfortable seat. Allowing your spine to be long, so allowing your spine to extend, to broaden, to soften in, into its full length. Whatever is available to you today. You can widen your feet to create a firmer foundation. You can place your hands facing up or down on your thighs, maybe in your lap. And by deliberately taking your seat, you are affirming that your practice has begun. Please also affirm that you will steer this practice to serve your own well-being. And that you will practice to nurture and nourish yourself. And may your practice be blessed. So this is from page 7. It's called The Necessary Art. Each of us is called to listen our way into the underlying truth that connects us all. Though we experience this calling as a very personal journey, the way plants and flowers grow and blossom differently, though they all root in the same soil, this rooting and breaking ground until we flower is the necessary art of coming alive. For a moment, just resting your mind on maybe a word or a phrase that speaks to you, that resonates with you. Maybe even that agitates you. That agitation is enlivening. It wakes us up. If you're comfortable with closing your eyes or resting your gaze downward, for a moment, activating that sense of deep listening, listening into
And this listening is an act of opening up. It's the allowing of letting in a natural unfolding receiving it's effortless If you feel you're straining to listen, use your breath, every breath, to relax deeper into a place of softness, a place of ease. This deep listening is our natural state. And it's available to all of us, maybe underneath the buzzing, the busy. Each of us is called to listen our way into the underlying truth that connects us all. This rooting and breaking ground until we flower is the necessary art of coming alive. Slowly beginning to circle your torso without losing your meditative focus. It's as if you are adding a gentle sway, a lull, rocking to your meditative state. As if you're stirring the stillness deeper into your soul. And we notice when this act of moving, these movements become more prominent and dominant and allow them to. Maybe even change the direction of your circles, making them deeper. Beginning to draw your focus to the movement. But maintaining the sense of deep listening, of listening into. Notice how the pressure in your feet begins to change, the pressure in your hands, if your hands are on your thigh. Maybe the movement of the head, the shoulders, 
change direction again so adding a bit of depth to the first round and then coming to center just notice the difference from stillness to movement to stillness Interlacing your fingers in front of your chest and push your hands away. As you push your hands away, draw your waistline back. Bow your head, open into your back body as if you listening, as if this movement um, has its own language, its own sound. And lifting the arms overhead, coming into a tall mountain. Your arms don't have to be straight. If they straight, straighten, it's fine. Keep reaching up towards the sky. Keep sitting down. Lengthening from all sides of your waistline, your torso, the back, the front, the sides, the inner body, the outer body. And then opening your arms, bringing the sky towards the earth, gently pushing down. So this is a pushing down and a floating down at the same time. Interlace your fingers in front of your chest. Push your palms away and draw your waistline back. Lift your arms over here, keep sitting down and reaching up. And then open the arms, push down, float the arms down. As if your arms are floating through a consistency, maybe water, honey, bringing your hands together, interlace your hands in front of your chest, push your palms away, draw your waistline back, lifting the arms overhead, sit nice and tall, and then open the hands, separate the palms and float the hands down. This time, catch your elbows, place your forearms on your um, knees or your thighs and bow forward. Let your head hang and once again, puff up into your back body. So you're rounding into the back ribs, the low back, the upper back, puffing up into your neck. Coming up halfway, lengthening your spine forward. You can keep your forearms down or place your hands on your thighs, your knees, your shins. And then folding down over your legs. If this is too far down for you, you're welcome to stay on your forearms. Or otherwise, draping yourself over your thigh. Push into your feet, use the strength of your core and slowly roll up into your seat. Take a breath here. Interlace your fingers, push your palms away, reach your waistline back. Lift your arms over it, sit nice and tall. Fold forward, catching your elbows, bow forward, bring the front body into the back. Coming up halfway, a nice long spine. Fold forward, either supported by your arms or your thighs. And then slowly roll up. Once you're seated, take a breath, be present for that breath. One more, interlacing the fingers, push the hands away. 
a tall mountain lifting up, reaching high. As you fold forward, oh sorry, open the palms, push the hands down. And then catching your elbows, folding forward. And maybe as you draw your front body into your back body, as you fold, maybe your breath can move beyond your back body. Maybe you can span beyond your skin. Lengthen into all of the space you've created, a nice long spine. Folding forward once again over your thighs or unsupported. And then rolling up into your seat, sitting into your mountain pose, the shoulders nice and broad. The hips and the pelvis are relaxed. It's as if you're really settling into your seat. If your feet are getting cold or stiff, just move your toes a little bit. You can lift your heels. You can even bounce your feet. You can always add movement as you need to. We'll add some variations. So moving your arms back, so as if you're flying your arms back, and then bring them forward, interlace your hands, push your palms away, reach your waistline back. Coming up into your high mountain with halo arms, really reaching up. Separate the palms, float them down. So crossing the arms, catching your elbows, folding forward. Coming up halfway. And folding forward. Roll up into your seat and as you roll up, take your arms overhead. Lift your right knee and hug your right knee to your chest. Kick your right leg out in front of you, lower it down and drag it towards your waist, uh, your chair. The arms reach back or float back, overhead. As you lower your arms, lift your left leg, hug your thigh to your chest. Relax the arms, kick your legs straight and slowly lower it down. And then drag your heel towards your chair. One more, the arms float back, forward and up. Lower the arms, lift the knee, catch your thigh or your shin and draw your leg towards your waistline. Kick your leg out. Lower it down, drag your heel towards your chair, the arms float back, forward and up. As the arms lower, lift your left leg, hug it in, kick it out, place it down and slowly move your foot towards your chair. Float your arms back. We'll start from the beginning. Arms overhead. Fold forward. So, yeah, fold forward, catching your elbows. Coming up halfway. Folding forward over your sides. And then rolling up. Arms float back, we'll add the legs, arms overhead. As the arms come down, lift your right leg, hug it in, kick it out, place it down and draw it towards your chair. Arms float back, 
forward and up. Hug your left leg to your chest or your waistline. Kick it out, place it down and draw it towards your chair. We'll start from the beginning and add variations. The arms move back, forward and up, into your forward fold. Hold it, lift your right elbow into a twist. Bring it back to center and change, lifting your left elbow into a twist. Wind your left arm back, coming up halfway into your forward fold. Remember this forward fold can stay fully supported by the arms or you can fold over your legs. When you're ready, roll up. As you roll up, bring your hands towards your lower back. The shoulders nice and broad. Stay nice and tall and bring your elbows forward. Move slowly, move curiously. And then open the arms back as if you have butterfly wings. And then move the elbows forward and you'll feel your shoulders rolling in. Stay relaxed through your jaw and move the elbows back. We'll do three more, moving the elbows forward and back and forward and back. And breath is smooth, breath is calm. Forward. And back and relaxing your arms to your thighs. Float the arms back, we'll add the legs forward and up. So you bring your arms down, hug your right leg, kick it out, place it down, draw it back. The arms float back, forward and up. Hug your left leg, draw it in, kick it out, lower it down and drag it back. Take a moment, rest your hands on your thighs. Interlace your fingers in front of your chest. Push your palms away and draw your waistline back. Lift the arms overhead. Sit down and reach up and we'll open into a twist. So whatever side you need to twist towards to um, face me or um, if it doesn't matter, you can open any side. I'm bringing my right arm back, my left arm forward into a rotation. You can catch the back of your chair or the side and the front, um, outside of the front leg. Into your rotation and then we'll come back to center, the arms spread open, pivoting towards center and then twisting towards the other side. So the one arm lowers towards the back, the other one towards the front, and you can push against the back of your chair, or maybe you have an armrest that you can push against. The arms spread out, come back to center, interlace your fingers over here, push up towards the sky, long spine, long neck, soft jaw, 
steady legs. Separate your hands, push the sky down towards the earth. Bring your hands all the way to your lap into a forward fold, catch your elbows. Into your twist, lift your right elbow, open the chest to the side. Coming back to center, lift your left elbow, opening into a twist. Coming back to center, take a breath. And when you're ready, lengthen your spine, a half lift. Folding forward. Rolling up nice and slow. And as you roll up, bring your hands to your low back. So the backs of your hands towards your low back. Three times, moving the elbows forward and back. Take it nice and slow. And forward. Back and forward and back, relaxing the arms, we'll add the legs, fly the arms back, lift them overhead, catch the right leg, squeeze it towards your chest, kick it out. Lower it down and drag it towards your seat. The arms fly back, forward and up. As they lower down, lift your left leg, draw your thigh towards your chest, kick it out, lower it down and draw your foot towards your chest. Relax your arms on your thighs. Take a moment to feel your body. To feel into all of the sensations as they arise. but also to feel into that underlying stillness. A few breaths here, and maybe while you're breathing, imagine a golden column from the base of your pelvis, really down low, nestling into the root of your pelvis all the way up to the crown of your head. And imagine this golden column pulsating to the rhythm of your breath. As you inhale, it expands out. And as you exhale, it draws in. The inhale, it expands out. And on the exhale, it draws in. To the rhythm of your own breath, Bathed in deep listening. A golden column of light from the base of your pelvis to the crown of your head. 
gently pulsating, broadening on the inhale, and a gentle contraction on the exhale. Feeling the expansion and the contraction of your breath. That beautiful, soothing rhythm of deep listening. That echo of silence, of stillness. Maintaining your meditative focus, we'll begin to close the practice. So slowly, as if you pulsing to this, to this drum of pulsation, sweep your arms back. So let the arms follow the pulsation, forward and up. Sit down, reach yourself tall, keep reaching as you sit down, feel the body breathing. When you're ready, fold forward. At your own rhythm into your half lift, into a forward fold, linger in your forward fold and then slowly roll up. Again, guided by this inner pulse. Inner listening. And once you sit tall, take a breath. Begin to rub your hands over your thighs, allowing this movement, this touching of your skin. Allow you to ground to create clear boundaries. You can rub all the way down in between your toes, around your ankles. Keep moving your feet, especially if they're a little bit cold. Over your hands, your arms, your elbows, your shoulders, the armpits, the chest. You're stroking the skin. Tapping like raindrops over your head and your face. If you want to rub your ears, rub your ears. Make sure you rub over your throat, your chest, your belly, your low back, your hips. As high up on your back as you can and then shake out your hands. And bring your hands to your heart in Anjali Mudra. Thank you for joining me. 
let's close with another reading from this beautiful book. I received it as a gift. It's the closing of the chapter called The Necessary Art and it says the purpose of all uh, sorry the purpose of art in all its forms is to make life real to remove everything that gets in the way and to help us live an expression of our aliveness Have a beautiful day.